How's it going, everybody? My name is Zenius, and welcome back to another episode of Tibia. So we are continuing our quests of the Aria area now that we have kind of hit a brick wall when it comes to the St. Nibbles quest. I'm basically just doing these Aria quests in order to gain more experience so that I can go back to the... Uh, St. Nicholas Island and finish off the quest there, but not do it when I don't feel particularly safe. So, what I am doing right now is I'm kind of going around, I'm trying to find uh, quests that I can do. Uh, I didn't, uh, I'm looking for this guy right here, Bork, I think his name is. Alright. Oh, human, want to help me? Uh, yes, please, sure. Uh, Minode, uh, cave in the desert, big powerful weapon is hidden there, bring it to me and I tell you a secret. The secret treasure chamber in the orc caves, I tell you how to open it. Are you game? I'm game. I will do it. Get it. I'm literally game right now. Literally gaming. G gaming is what is happening. So this is a pretty simple quest. Uh, it doesn't give you a whole lot of experience points, but it still gives you points, and that's what I'm here for. So basically what you have to do is you have to go down into this cave, and it's another maze where you have to fight through uh, all these tier 3 orcs in order to find this weapon that he's talking about. And luckily, I there was a, another guy in the area and uh, he another guy in the caves with me uh, this guy right here i'm passing him now and he's just here hunting i don't think that he's actually looking for the weapon so he is just kind of passing by me not really doing a whole lot not getting in my way and he's able to clear out a good chunk of the orc leaders uh so i don't have to deal with him which is really really nice i really really appreciate that i don't know who he is i don't even know like <laughs> if he got annoyed with me because I can't, there, there's, I think later on you'll see that I, I took out an orc right as he came through. And I'm sure he was like, man, I really wish this guy wasn't here. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if he was slightly frustrated at me for getting in his way. But this is an MMORPG. Like, you should expect to see other people in this game. Uh, it's just a matter of, if they screw you over, that's when it sucks to be playing with other people. But as of right now, like... Nothing bad's happening to anyone. Like it's all fair game. It's all friendly. So yeah, it was it was a good time, and it really did help me out because I hate the waiting process of uh, recharging my mana and health to get to where I need to go so I can get there safely. And he kind of took out a lot of the uh, enemies in this area, so I could do that in a quick and easy manner. So I I thoroughly appreciate that. These uh. The orc village in general is an, I, I guess, underestimated or underused area of Aria, just because there is so much potential there. Uh, the, the orc village and the orc caves are so deep, and they have so much there. You have, uh, if you're not aware, Bragnak is the orc king, basically. Uh, he's a boss that you can fight, and actually we get to the option of fighting him so we uh were able to and this is the part where the guy comes through and he's like oh yeah okay cool he just finished off this monster that i could have anyway we're uh gosh what was i saying oh where i was talking about brightneck the orc king and how he uh, is this uh boss that's there he has actually gone up in uh, strength, I don't show it in this episode because it's sl <laughs> slightly embarrassing, but I took, I went ahead and took on Bragnak, but I didn't realize that they had brought in cultist. It used to be back in the day when me and my friends took him on, uh, when we were young and stupid, like level 15, 16, when we took him on, he was super, super easy. It was him, uh, maybe two or three orc leaders, and it was one and done. We got him. No problem. But I just tried taking him on at the end of this episode and wanted to see like what he was like what what kind of uh, attacks he had and he had three cultists around him and if you don't remember what cultists do basically they have the ability to heal everyone that's in their general area so whenever i go into battle with him he is constantly being healed by these cultists all right 
Uh, hey, I got the weapon? Yes. Wanna swap? Yes. Ha ha! Uh, Rark got himself a weapon. Hit, hits himself on the head with the weapon. Good! You wanna hear about the treasure chamber now? Uh, the tiles are hidden under Orc City. Three to the north and three to the south. Three tiles to the south are the first lock. Three tiles to the north is the second. The locks carry numbers one, two, three. Starting from the west going to the east. To open the lock, you step on every tile, then leave the tiles in the right combination. You mistake lock, uh, you mistake lock stick. Don't know the combination. It's hidden somewhere in the caves. Go, human. Find the tiles. So... As far as I know, the tiles are literally right inside this cave. Uh, when I enter, you'll see the tile over to the left part of your screen, right under the webcam. Uh, the uh, That's the first tile, as far as I'm concerned. And obviously, you can see the ones above me are the ones in the north, and the ones below me are the ones in the south. So you start with the second one. However, when I start stepping on them, later, once I get the combination, I, they don't do anything. So I, I'm not entirely sure how these work, if there's a way to unlock them or to make them work or anything. I, I don't I don't get this part of the quest. So it's this is something you might want to look up later on in uh, the uh, might want to look up like on a the a TVME fan site or maybe even another playthrough video. I know I'm supposed to be this source of tutorial knowledge like oh this is how you do it blah, blah, blah. and like yes i understand that but this is a point that has been changed those tiles used to work those tiles used to be how you unlock the treasure chamber however now it seems like everything is different and i don't know how that works anymore so uh it's different from back in my day uh, and I, I have yet to figure it out, so sorry about that. So right now I'm on my way deeper into the Orc Village to where you will find the combination. Um, and also in this area you will also see a place that I love to go to. It's called the Orc Trap, and I'll explain more once you get there, but it's a place that I... Um, uh, one of the first places I died in when I started playing this game. Uh, it was really weird. Me and my friends used to go to the mines all the time and fight the Minotaur King, uh, which is one of the earlier bosses in the game. But it's weird because now, whenever uh, whenever we came here and we were fighting through the, through the orcs, which are not as strong as the Minotaurs and not as uh, powerful as the Tier 3 and Tier 2 Minor Souls and Minor Warriors, uh, we were um, able to handle those easily. But when it came to this particular place that I'm about to show you, it completely overwhelmed me. And I I, I know why. <laughs> and you're going to see why. Because it's one of those situations where you, when you go into it, there's no way out. It, it's just like the Tier 2 Minus Souls that I showed in the last episode. Uh, the... Uh, the place that I like to go into and just kind of auto farm, that is very, very similar to this place here. It's called an orc trap, if I haven't mentioned it already. And it's just one of my favorites. Just, just an all-around awesome place to be. I think this is one of those situations where you have to watch out for your wolf being an idiot. There are many, many times where I, I want to say wolf is still in attack mode. So what he's doing is he's going off and he's seeking battles of his own, which is really, really frustrating when, like, you're trying... Like, he doesn't have a whole lot of health. I don't think he has over 200 uh, hit points. Like, I, and, and neither do I, so I can't take that much either. But he has less defense than I do. So it's a little bit frustrating whenever you're kind of going into battle and he's just kind of seeking his own people and getting overwhelmed very, very quickly. Because, like then you have to watch out for two people. All right, this is it. It's called the Orc Trap. There's a sign here that says, uh, watch out, do not enter. And basically, it's just this one area where a bunch of Orc Raiders, orc, uh, Orcs, and Orc Leaders all spawn. Uh, and if I didn't have my wolf, I would have spawned in the center area where I am now. Uh, and it, it took me a minute to figure out that what I needed to do is I needed to go down and take out all of the enemies that are in this uh, uh, bottom area here so I could get to the protection zone so I wouldn't be backed into a corner. 
And, and that's kind of why I brought in my wolf there, is because I, I knew I would be surrounded, and I knew I wouldn't be able to take on both of them at a time. So, what I had to do is I, I had to bring in my potion of might, which I didn't really want to do. I used that in emergencies, and this definitely was one of those emergencies, but it was just, those are harder to find than I thought. I, I, I do it off camera, but I went around looking for a potion of might on different islands, and it was incredibly difficult to find. There wasn't something that I expected would be difficult to find, but it is for some reason. I was finding so many of them on Liberia when I was first starting out and the quests, and I thought it would be simple and easy from there on. I thought I could get them in Aria, but all you can get are lesser health potions and uh, greater health potions, and then even greater where it'll uh, give you back 300, 500, 650 health and mana and things like that. So, uh, But potions of might are one of the more rare potions in the game apparently. I'm sure that there's a place that you can buy them, I just haven't found it yet, and I'm sure it's one of the upper level islands. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Solomar has it somewhere, or uh, uh, another island. Banuna, Yabatu, maybe. Um, I don't know. It's just I have spent less time on those islands, so I don't really know where a whole lot of the stuff is on those islands, so it's very difficult for me to say where certain things are and where you can buy certain things. Aria, Liberia, Ashmore, that's where I've spent a good majority of my time. Uh, and uh, St. Nivellus as well, not quite as much, but still uh, uh, more than any of the other islands. I'm hoping that I will be able to get to these other islands pretty soon. I want, I know that I'm going to be following the main story, the main quest, but I don't know where after St. Nivellus is going to take me. I'm kind of hoping Yaba 2. I think, if I remember correctly, that's one of my favorite islands that I haven't really explored all that much. So I'm, I'm super excited to get to that, but again, I don't really remember what level that is. Uh, I, I plan on, after this recording, kind of going through the different islands and looking through and seeing what the level requirement is for each one, because it has a good general basis. I think Ashmore is somewhere from 15 to 20, which, I mean, kind of makes sense, honestly, because it's one of those that, like, it will push you and it will be difficult, but it's still... It's still one of those that you could very easily die, because if you don't have the right weapons to fight ghosts, you're gonna completely die. And then Widows, uh, level 2 spiders, are much, much more difficult than you would expect. Want to hear about the treasure chamber again? Yes. Uh, so under the source city, 3 to the north, 3 to the south, the 3 tiles is the first lock, these tiles north of the second, the locks, carry numbers 1 to 3, blah blah blah. I think we right went through this before. Now, each of the parchments that I picked up tells me what the uh, the number is, what the lock number is. Um, uh, the one in the south is number one, and the one in the north is number two. Yes, yes. Okay, so safe key one is two, one, three, and then uh, so that the one in the south is two, one, three. Now, if you'll notice, when I start stepping on these tiles, they don't do anything. There's no reaction. Uh, safe key 213. I, I take out this orc before I do anything, apparently. That's that's uh, very good to know. I didn't, I didn't realize that before. All right. So when I'm stepping on the tiles here, two, it didn't go down. One, it doesn't go down. And th there's not even a tile at three. And I'm starting to get a little skeptical. Uh, 312 for safety key 2, which is the one in the north. Again, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so I, I get kind of confused. I go, I end up going ahead and doing it again because I don't know what else to do but to try again, I guess. But anyway, I ended up leaving and then realizing that this chamber is actually already open. This is where I needed to head out in the first place. So I... I, someone must have opened it before me and it had just stayed open or something. I, I don't know how this ended up being open, but it is, and I'm able to go through. So the, the path that I'm taking now is on the way to Bragnac, 
which is the orc king. Uh, he's in a chamber. Uh, uh, once again, he is with three cultists who can heal him constantly. The the hard part and the most difficult part is the fact that they will heal one another. So trying to t they don't do high damage and they barely hit you at all, but they will heal each other while you're attacking them. So it does get a little bit frustrating because you can't really do a whole lot against them. Steady on behind these. Halls uh, waits the lair of a strong Orcus warlord. Ragnak is very dangerous. I tried to challenge him, but he got healed by his shamans all the time. Uh, and then once you go up, I think you talk with this guy for some reason. Uh, welcome. Oh, uh, this guy offers you life insurance, which I highly recommend if you're a platinum player. Uh, you can get life insurance at 50% or 80%, which saves uh, 50 or 80% of your uh experience points should you die so that's just the options are right there they're super cheap i highly recommend them uh and anyway if you enter through that portal you will be fighting bragnak which i do not recommend until you're a much higher level level but it is uh i don't know it's it's pretty cool to do anyway if uh, uh if you want to try if you're lower level and you want to try with friends I don't see why you shouldn't. Just make sure you have a healer in the group, someone who is constantly healing everyone else and casting spells. So I, I, that's that's my warning to you. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.